Philippine Army received bids for the purchase of tank combat vehicles from several countries. But there are two tank uppers that are the strongest candidates for the Philippine Army. Namely the Tiger medium tank made in Indonesia and K-21 from South Korea. Let's get to know the two types of tanks in detail specifications. Before proceeding, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and press the bell button so as not to miss the news updates about the military. 1. Tiger Medium Tank from Indonesia Black Tiger Tank, or called Modern Medium Tank, is a collaboration program between Turkish manufacturer FNSS and Indonesian manufacturer PT Pindad. Other names for this combat vehicle are Kaplan MT, Turkey, and Black Tiger, Indonesia. The Tiger Medium Tank is equipped with a Cockerill CTCV 105 HP, high pressure, 105 mm smoothbore gun manufactured by CMI Cockerill Maintenance and Engineering Saw Defense. With the barrel mounting a bore evacuator and thermal jacket, the turret is equipped with an autoloader and can be rotated 360 degrees both electronically and mechanically. With a maximum elevation, depression of 42 up to minus 6 degrees and it's equipped with Euro stabilizer and firing control system. It's also equipped with an IFF system, hunter killer system for target selection and auto target locking system to assist the gunner. The gun has been test fired with TPCS DST, HEPT, HE4 TP2 shells and can also fire NATO standard 105mm shells. The hull armor of Tiger medium tank is using modular armor. It is categorized as Stanag 4569 level 4 protection, which means the tank can withstand 14.5 times 114mm AP rounds at 200 meters with 911 meters per second velocity. The underbelly of the tank uses V hull able to withstand 10 kilograms at mine under the tracks and under the center. Due to modularity, the armor can be augmented to level 5 protection, withstand 25 mm AP DST at 500 meters with 1,258 meters per second velocity without increasing the volume of the tank. With the frontal arc able to withstand 30 mm rounds, dynamic and mobility test taken in the 7th to the 16th of August 2018 to prove the specification design. The tank uses a Caterpillar C13 diesel engine generating 711 HP, coupled with Allison Caterpillar X300 transmission. During the test the tank is able to reach 78 km per hour in road speed. The prototype is able to cross 2 meters trench and 0.9 meters vertical obstacle. The Tiger medium tank survivability has been further strengthened. A modular PULAT active protection system joint developed by ASELSAN and Tubatax H can be integrated. This ensures the tank's defensive capabilities against projectiles at all angles. Two, the K-21-105 from South Korea. The K-21-105 is a new light tank. It was jointly developed by CMI Defense of Belgium and Doosan DST of South Korea. It seems that this vehicle was first publicly revealed in 2014. The K-21-105 is basically a South Korean K-21 infantry fighting vehicle fitted with a Belgian CMI Defense ETCV 105 HP-2 man turret. This combination provides significant direct fire capability, based on relatively light and mobile chassis. The K-21-105 is cheaper and more strategically and tactically mobile comparing with main battle tanks also is cheaper to produce and to maintain comparing with main battle tanks. Earlier, in 2013, a prototype light tank based on the K-21 IFB has been revealed. It was developed by the same companies. It also used the chassis of the K-21 IFB, but was fitted with XC-8 lightweight concept turret. Armed with a 120mm gun, 
most likely that the K21-105 evolved from this project. The K21-105 is being referred as medium tank by its developers. However this armored machine weights around 25T. By current standards it is rather a light tank. The main role of this tank is to support infantry. It is effective against armored and soft skin vehicles, buildings and fortifications. Also, it has secondary anti-tank capability. This system may not be very effective against modern main battle tanks unless attacking from ambush. However, it is likely to defeat most widespread tanks that North Korea has. Composite materials were extensively used in the hull design in order to save weight wherever possible. The front arc provides protection against 30mm armor-piercing rounds. All-round protection is against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds and artillery shell splinters. Vehicle is also fitted with automatic fire suppression and NVC protection systems. This light tank is armed with a fully stabilized 105mm rifled low-recoil gun. It fires all standard NATO 105mm ammunition. It can fire newly developed smart ammunition. Maximum range of fire is 4 km. This tank is also compatible with Faluric 105 gun launched anti tank missiles. The Faluric missile is of Ukrainian origin. It is used to engage heavily armored vehicles at long ranges. Missiles are launched in the same manner as ordinary rounds. The missile has a semi automatic laser guidance with tandem warhead. The Faluric 105 penetrates no less than 550 mm behind explosive reactive armor. Maximum range of fire is 5 km. This tank has a bustle mounted automatic ammunition loading system. Maximum rate of fire is 8 rounds per minute. Ammunition is stored in the bustle compartment that is separated from the crew. The gun can be elevated to 42 degrees. This feature allows to adapt vehicle for urban and mountainous warfare. Also due to its elevation, this gun can fire in the same manner as howitzers. And direct range of fire is up to 10 kilometers. There is a coaxial 7.62 mm machine gun. Also a roof-mounted remotely controlled weapon station with 12.7 mm machine gun is optional. This tank has advanced fire control system. It can engage targets both at day and at night. The KA-21-105 is operated by a crew of three, including commander, gunner, and driver. Vehicle is powered by a turbocharged diesel engine, developing 750 horsepower. This engine is more powerful than that, used on the K-21 IFV. Vehicle has a hydro-pneumatic suspension and advanced running gear. The new tank retains its amphibious capability at full combat weight. Only minimum preparation is required in order to ford water obstacles. Automatic flotation bags are activated before entering the water. On water this tank is powered by its tracks. 